Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. Mr. Magazine, I have a question for you. Okay. It's been a long day for me. A lot of things have gone on. Um, a lot of it will be revealed tonight on the live show. If you're watching this, uh, watch the live show that went about three weeks ago. <laughs> You'll find out all the fun things that happened. Um, You'll get back in time. <laughs> So it's been one of those kind of days, weeks, months, years. Do you get burned out? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did today around 4.50 p.m. <laughs> Which we're also going to talk about in the live show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, how do you combat that? It's a tough one. I, I guess you got to like try and think it through or think it out as it's happening. Like I had a, a bit of an issue today where I got a little angry and... Then I'm trying to like, I was almost like bipolar, if I, want, I don't want to use that term, but I was like right, angry. Right, yeah, right. Then I was angry, then I was thinking about it, it's like not worth getting angry, it's not going to get me anywhere, then I would calm down. But then I would get angry again. It would go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, but, but here's here's what gets me, and again, I, I, we don't want to be mysterious about the issue, do watch the live show, we don't want to, uh, we never talk previous to the show uh, just because that way you get our real reactions on the show. Let's just say that Mr. Magazine had a, had a pretty pretty good sized issue. He touched on it a little bit with me. What burns me out is you've got an issue. We'll, we'll just call it an 8. An 8 on a scale of 1 through 10. Yeah. While that happens, while you're on the phone, while you're handling that issue, you get three twos. Via email, via oh, phone yeah. call, via going with this, yeah. and those tend to be what really, really gets me burned out. Is okay, I can, I can focus my energies on one big problem and solve it and handle it and figure yeah. out a plan for it. But it's really, really hard to stay focused when you've. Uh, it, it, they're all. It, it's almost like gnats. All yeah. these other little problems around you, right. and and they may not necessarily be problems. It may be somebody saying, um, "Have you shipped my item yet?" Yeah, and then you've got to go in the tracking and say, uh, <clears throat> you know, and, and half the time the tracking shows that it's well on its way. Like, yeah. uh, yes, you know, and you got to nicely tell them, yes, eBay did send you the tracking. You can just click on the item. You can see it's in St. Louis right, right. now. Right. You know, and while that's happening, somebody else will be like, "Is there a mailing label in this magazine?" that you've got pictured but they think you're using a stock photo right. and it's those little things i think that lead to burnout i think even more than the big problems if that makes any sense well, i think with having the eight it makes those twos feel like fives all of them and then fives and sixes and right up the chain where at some point everything's an eight everything's a big deal even though it's really even bad. though they're not right. right so how do you combat that i, I think well let me ask you what your secret is and then i'll t t well, cut a couple of nips today, and... yeah, today, yeah exactly <laughs> today i didn't have there's no secret today. i just i usually i would just regroup take a breath think about it and i've been a lot better than i was 10 years ago dealing with ebay and amazon because you just can't beat them you know um but it's, get, their, I, it's their sandbox, their rules. Yeah, I get this recurring phone call from one of the platforms, and it's the same thing over again. It's like beating a dead horse into the ground. We, we're we trying to abide by the rules, and it's just something where, you know, they have someone reading off a cue card, doesn't know that someone called a month ago, doesn't know that my my account is way better than it was a year ago. They're just looking at the right here, right now. You know, it's just very frustrating. Um, you know, when I got off the phone with them, I had employees around. I was kind of embarrassed, but, you know, and I just blurted out some words I shouldn't have blurted out and then I was done then I felt better it was all regrouped and okay, then I'm so thinking but then I'm thinking to myself geez I hope this person on the other end of the phone doesn't go to their boss and now I'm getting strikes or getting or put a note in there or whatever or right. right so that was my concern I did get an email and before I got off the phone with them it was a little sarcastic but I was being very nice yeah thank you for the call I apologize you know I understand what you're saying we're going to do our best you know because that's what they really want to hear you know we're going to do our best to you know change things away they're you know going a different direction better our you know account and so forth so hopefully they took that into account we got the letter saying thank you for this you got to do this and that but it is what it is but it is very frustrating so so you you handle the stress the burnout whatever you want to call it uh, by exploding for lack of a better way <laughs> yeah, to put right, it yeah. I, I mean just yeah letting it all out right. and then regrouping yeah i hung up and then i blurted out you know god i hate them blah 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 <laughs> Couple employees were around, and it was over and done with. You know, I'm sure they understood they because they heard the situation. I'm sure, you know, what I said wasn't BS. You know, it made sense. But again, you're talking to someone that doesn't care. You know, so. And and there is a whole 
thought process along that, the old primal scream, where you just let go with just a, a huge mm -hmm. scream to let all of your stress out. And um, I will admit, you know, I know generally I seem like I'm fairly mild-mannered, and I believe that I am. There are times where I might say, a, gosh darn it, <laughs> as I slam something down, gosh darn it, I wish that wouldn't happen anymore. Serenity now. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that really galls me <laughs> and then I move on um, sure. but a lot of times what I'll do is I will do the breathe in breathe out just kind of okay I have to do breathe in, not, not any exercise because I haven't taken any formal training or anything like that but it's just a type deal that was fascinating to everybody watching as they hear, the, <laughs> hear that and I close the window dude <laughs> um, but there are ways. Now, what about the long term? Because obviously, now, I know you've gone on a few vacations trips here and there. I've not had a non-working trip since December 2019. Now, a lot of that was due to the, you know, due to the pandemic. You know, where where were you going in 2020? You weren't going anywhere. And if you did, you had, a, you know, all the, all the stuff going on with that. So, I mean, obviously, a, a vacation is a great way to, to recharge. But what if you can't do a vacation? I mean, just even like for me, a, a night to relax by myself, maybe, or really a good night's sleep. You know, I don't get much more than six, seven hours of sleep if I'm lucky, usually six. So if I were to sleep, you know, my body probably wouldn't let me sleep 10 hours, but if I get a good eight uninterrupted, it's funny because I saw something on Instagram. If you could have like one of five things of your choice, like the house automatically clean or food automatically made for you, or like eight hours of uninterrupted sleep, I'm taking the sleep, I think, right now. That would be the most important thing to me because I am mean, burnt out and every day. It's, you know, even on weekends, I don't work as long, but I still work seven days a week. You know, it takes a toll. And I find that there are times that, that helps me cope with things um, for the short-term avoidance of burnout will be... Um, <clears throat> I tend to wake up earlier than Mrs. Papergoy. I know that's a shock to you. Hmm. Yeah. I, wow. Believe it or not, Mrs. Papergoy is not up at 2.30 in the morning saying, let's go, carpe diem. <laughs> yeah, I know that's odd. <laughs> Nobody is up at that time in the morning. You know, I, I go to the uh, go to the local burn dairy and the clerks are going, what are you doing here, dude? I'm trying to get some sleep. Um, but uh, one thing that I will do is I'll do what I have to do on a Saturday and around 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll say to her, let's go, and whether it's out to eat, mm -hmm. whether it's to the mall, whether it's you know, wherever, just to turn my back on business for an afternoon. And that really does help you recharge your batteries. Um, especially, the, the reason why I like to do that on a Saturday is because I've got the day job. And Obviously, things are going to sell. I'm going to have offers. I'm going to have. I'm going to have. Well, that's going to come in all day Saturday. I don't want to do it on a Sunday because then all of a sudden I have to get up Monday morning and catch up. Well, right. I've got Sunday to catch up on those kind of sure. things. So that's another nice thing that I do. I mean, I'll come home from wherever I am with my wife. I'll jump on the email. I'll, I'll accept offers, decline offers. You know, that's essentially yeah. what I'll do. And then yeah. I won't worry about it until the next morning. So even if you build yourself in a little, you know, four to six hours here and there every couple of weeks mm -hmm. um it, it really does help recharge the batteries I, I find that really really does um but i think that you know i had a lot going on today as well as as well as you did and i think it was just the just the little annoyances as opposed right. to the big problem i can handle the big problems it's just the little annoyances that come in you know and i'll give you a perfect example um here I am rushing around trying to find stuff, and uh, I get an email from somebody, one of my customers on Amazon, or maybe not a customer. You don't know because mm -hmm. of the way that the Amazon email comes in, and I'm like, oh, geez, now I got to answer this. And a lot, you know, a lot of times those can be really, you know, can you send me a photo of mm -hmm. that kind of? Deal? I looked. Well, apparently it's a drop shipper because they said, can you not include an invoice? Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem whatsoever. I will not include an invoice. That's fine. But still, that was almost like the. Uh, the sort of oh, was a Damocles hanging over my head the entire time while I'm trying to find yeah. other things because I'm like, oh, what is that email? What is that email? What could that, you know, it, it's not going to be a positive, or even if it right. is, I still got to take time to read it for somebody to say, yeah, hey, I received the item, I love it. You know, well, thank you, and then you hit or you hit no response needed or whatever you hit on that, but it's still it's still there. Yeah, and I think right. that those sometimes are more annoying. Just the <clears throat> the little problems are more annoying than the big problems. If yeah. that even makes sense, sure. maybe it's because of the abundance of them. Yeah, um, I don't know. 
But uh, do mention down below how you handle burnout because, it, like I said, it's it is a, it is a grind. It really, truly is a grind. I think today was a tough day for both Mister Magazine and me. Um, do watch the live show that will air and did air <laughs> on uh, December seventh. Go back to that one. Uh, don't mean to miss mysterious here in the studio shows, but again, we save we save a lot of stuff for the uh, for the live show air. Um, but do check that out. You'll know a little more of what we were talking about, a little more of how our day was. But uh, you have to avoid burnout. You really, really, really do. Because the other problem with burnout is when you get burned out, you're not functioning. No, oh, you're not effective at all. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's, a, lot, a lot of mistakes. And, yeah, definitely not and I'll efficient. give you a perfect example. I <laughs> sold something right before Mr. Magazine came over. Mm -hmm. And I had to find it. And it was something that I had just listed. And so I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking in the box, and I'm looking, and I'm not able to find it. I take everything out of the box, and I'm, you know, oh, let me reorganize all the stuff, maybe, because it's a very small item. Yeah. Maybe it fell in there, maybe I fell, oh, jeez, I don't, oh, I'm looking in box five. It's in box four, which I put upstairs the other day. There you go. I wouldn't have made that mistake right. if I weren't burnt out at the end yeah. of the day. But I spent five minutes in getting all upset yeah. because I can't find an item. Well, yeah. Dummy, it's not in the wrong box. <laughs> would have been even worse if I had found it, because then, then I would have had a whole problem. What else did I list that day that I put in the wrong box? Uh-oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so thank goodness I didn't find it in the wrong box. But hopefully that helps you a little bit over there. Let us know how you handle um, stress and burnout and all that, because, again, this is a 24-7. There's always something simmering. Um, I do think I know one uh, other thing that probably would help people. A baseball bat? Or hitting the like button. Oh, yeah. Either hit, one. Well, hit, hit, hit the like button with a baseball bat. Yeah, that's, where, that's where I was going with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.